Welcome to an introduction to XRM Toolbox. My name is Jonas Rapp and in this series of videos I will be showing you my best tips and tricks on how to make XRM Toolbox work just the right way for you. XRM Toolbox is created by MVP Tangi Tuzard. It's used globally by tens of thousands of developers, administrators, customizers and even users on the Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement platform. In this first episode, I will show you how to download XRM Toolbox, get it installed and how to add your favorite tools to the toolbox. Finally, we'll look at some of the options in the toolbox and look at some really smart features. So, let's go! To get things started, browse to xrmtoolbox.com. Then you find that big green download button to get the toolbox downloaded. Now don't just click the zip file, but open it in the folder rather, so you can check the properties of the file and unblock it. Windows is trying to protect us from harmful files and we trust this one. Then you just right click the file and extract all the content. Personally, I don't like having stuff in my downloads folder, so I'll move the XM Toolbox folder to my dev folder. Now just navigate to the xmtoolbox.exe file and double click it. By default, XRM Toolbox will show you the plugin store when you start the application. To change this behavior, sort of unpin this button in the plugin store window. You can easily find tools by searching for parts of the name or author of the different tools. When you have checked the tools you want, just hit the install button. Lots of tools available in XRM Toolbox, but it's really easy to just go to the settings and uncheck them and they won't be displayed anymore in the plugins list. Just like in the plugin store window, it's really easy to filter the plugins visible in the list. Another really cool feature is that you can favorite your most popular tools so they will be very easily accessible from the start page. Now let's just quickly add some more tools from the store. I can easily find the tools by filtering the list and I'll add some of them to my favorites. Since I use XRM Toolbox many times every day, I want to make sure to have a shortcut on my Windows taskbar. Let's have a look at some of the settings in XRM Toolbox. On the first page I can choose how to display the plugins in the list. Should they be alphabetically the most used first or the most recently updated first? I can also choose if they should be displayed with small or large icons. On the miscellaneous tab, I always make sure not to prompt me when I close plugins. I know when I want to close them. You can also do settings for when to check for updates, etc. On the paths tab, you get shortcuts to the installation folder and to the storage folder. The storage folder is used to store connections, settings, plugins and log files. If you open the storage folder, you can see all the files that are in there. In this settings, I have very few files because it's a new installation. I also have the plugins there, the actual DLLs containing the functionality. And 
finally, on the last tab, you have some options for how to display the start page in XM Toolbox. With that, I want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode with XM Toolbox goodies.